It's definitely not here for a good time. It's here for an awkward, uncomfortable, very high stress, anxiety filled bad time. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Good Time. This was a film that was suggested to me after watching Uncut Gems. This is a film that the Safdie brothers did before Uncut Gems. Upon watching it, I can see all of the inspiration, all the tactics, all of the filmmaking techniques that they used in this film, in which they perfected in Uncut Gems. Good Time is a good time, even though it's not. It's a very bad, uncomfortable time, but it's not as good as Uncut Gems, and we're gonna get into that. This film follows Robert Pattinson, who is kind of a loser, who robs a bank with his mentally challenged brother, they get chased by the police, his brother is caught, sent to jail, and Robert Pattinson is trying to get $20,000 to get his brother out on bail. And what follows is a complete fucking fall into disaster. He just tries different plans to try and raise this money all within one or two days, and it just gets worse. Much like how in Uncut Gems, Adam Sandler just keeps on digging himself deeper into this hole, Robert Pattinson kind of keeps doing that with bad decisions about everything. It goes from very strange, very amusing, to very uncomfortable, to a point where I full on stopped and had to walk out of the room. There's a scene, you'll know what I'm talking about when he comes to it. <laughs> but a lot of the camera techniques, both up close as well as long, slow zoom ins, very long establisher shots, as well as multicolor uses, lots of reds, lots of blues, lots of greens, heavy neon color lighting, a fucking banging soundtrack. It's weird, but it's so good. Robert Pattinson does a really good performance in this film. He's trying to do kind of a good thing, even though he's a piece of shit, and he finds other pieces of shit along the way, and he kind of critiques them about being pieces of shit when he himself is a piece of shit, but he doesn't actually point out that he's a piece of shit, and he doesn't really realize anything in the end. That is, however, the big detractor I would say for this film, is the ending kind of falls flat. It just kind of ends. Not as intriguing of an ending as Uncut Gems. Nowhere near. It just sort of bleh. I don't know what they could have done really to change it because it's just so trivial, it's just so unimportant, so unrelated to what his original goal was. Kind of doesn't go anywhere with him. It just ends. Admittedly though, it's very high anxiety. There's very little downtime for the character as he's trying to do these different things. There's a point where he goes into this hospital and then afterwards he goes to this person's house and there's this 16 year old girl there and <laughs> so yeah, I would just say don't expect a good time but it's still a decently well-made movie. Good Time is a 5 out of 7 for me. You should definitely watch it, especially if you enjoyed Uncut Gems. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I really am interested to see what the Safdie brothers come up with. I'm kind of curious to see if these guys can do a movie about something that isn't related to someone making a lot of bad decisions in the course of like one or two days leading up to a big crescendo, because I love how they film. I love how they put movies together. I love how they work with the soundtrack and the themes, like 80s themes. Essentially, these guys are the R-rated version of the Duffer brothers. The Safdie brothers can make some Something really intriguing and really really riveting and I'm really excited to see what they can do next anyways guys that's all for me hope you enjoyed this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show undergrads it's been a while but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.